Criminal Minds burst onto the scene in 2005 and became an instant hit. The show's dark subject matter focuses on the psychological aspects of violent crimes, appeals to the millions of viewers who tune in each week. But the show has been so successful that it isn't any wonder many of the great actors have come and gone throughout the show's history. There is reasons for the departures, and here are the most juicy. Starting with, Thomas Gibson had a bad day. The leader of the unit, Aaron Hotchner, played by Thomas Gibson, was with the show from the very beginning. That is until things got out of hand in 2016 when he was ordered to leave the series. The incident occurred when Gibson was directing an episode in the 12th season. Apparently, things got heated between him and writer and co-executive producer Virgil Williams, and Gibson kicked the man in the shin. Ouch! Gibson tried to explain it off as a creative difference on set, but it was too late. Years earlier, Gibson pushed a producer and was ordered to attend anger management and given a suspension from the series. But the kick to the shin got him axed. Creative differences aside, you can't assault people you work with and not pay the consequences. Followed by, Mandy Paddington couldn't take it anymore. The Tony Award winning actor and the famous actor who portrayed Inigo Montoyo in The Princess Bride was a big get for the series in 2005. He brought credibility to the police and law procedurals in a time when the amount of shows like it was, well, a lot. Maybe Criminal Minds didn't get the memo, but Mandy Paddington was not shy about quitting shows. Seemingly without warning, Paddington walked away from Chicago Hope in 1995 because he wanted to spend more time with his family. Family time is great, even honorable. However, leaving a job like that can put a great deal of unnecessary stress on your co-workers. It's nice to give a heads up, is what I'm saying. He quit Criminal Minds in 2007, claiming creative differences. This seems to be the go-to excuse when someone wants to bail on a project. Five long years later, Paddington revealed the true reason he departed from the show. He told New York Magazine that joining the cast of Criminal Minds was the biggest mistake of his acting career, and that working on a show about murder and kidnapping was destroying his soul. Moving on to We Need New Women. Paget Brewster and AJ Cook were fired from Criminal Minds right before the kickoff of season six. The initial reason given was to cut costs for the show moving forward. However, Brewster claims the real reason was a high-ranking executive at CBS called executive producer Ed Bernardo said that he wanted new women. So, the two actresses were fired. Cook's character was given a quick send-off, but Brewster's agent wasn't so fast to concede. He talked the show into letting her client shoot 17 more episodes before leaving. But the actress asked the show's writer to kill her character off. Stay with me, I know this is a lot. The writers agreed to kill off Prentice, but in another twist, Brewster heard her character was set to return. She was confused and called her agent, who explained that the studio added another year to her contract so she would have to film the 17 episodes he had initially requested. Diabolical! She was forced to return. Both Brewster and Cook remained with the show for the rest of its run in some weird way. This was a bizarre one. And now, some controversy cannot be escaped. People can be cruel. After all the insane drama surrounding the exit of Brewster and Cook, poor Rachel Nichols was given the impossible task of walking into the uncomfortable situation and replacing not one, but two beloved actresses. Her character, FBI cadet slash special agent Ashley Seaver, wasn't exactly welcomed with arms wide open by the viewers of the show. They were very vocal about their displeasure on social media, and they let her know. She was berated by fans of the series. They never gave me a chance at all, she said in an interview with Parade. The fans were livid about the Paget and AJ situation, and she was a likely and easy target of their anger. Viewers relaxed and came to accept her as the season went on, but it didn't mean much in the end. She was not asked to return to the show. Up next, Jennifer Love Hewitt was on Criminal Minds. Jennifer Love Hewitt is familiar to fans of the 90s. She is known for her Can't Hardly Wait and I Know What You Did Last Summer, one of the original Scream Queens and crushes of all high school boys during those years. In a smooth transition, Jennifer Love Hewitt has become one of the most consistent names in television. She's been performing consistently on shows like The Ghost Whisperer and two seasons on The Client List. Then, in 2014, she joined the cast of Criminal Minds as supervisory special agent Kate Callahan. Who would have ever thought it? But Love Hewitt received some backlash from fans who didn't think she was a good fit for the show. Criminal Minds was in its 10th season and it had its way of operating. A cadence and formula 
Noah that viewers understood and liked. Here were fans of the show that were so perturbed that they distributed a petition to remove her from the show. That year, in the season finale which aired in May of 2015, her character Callahan resigned from the BAU. Showrunner Erica Messer explained that Love Hewitt would not be returning to the series for the following season. The really insane fans were probably bummed to know it wasn't all their hard work that got her axed from the show. She was having a baby. So, in the end, it was life that removed her from Criminal Minds. And not a bunch of angry people with way too much time on their hands. She was having a baby. Next up, it's time for something new, baby girl. Every show has its heartthrob. You need that one character that makes people tune in even if they don't know what the show is about. They may not even know what it's called. <laughs> I'm kidding. Sherman Moore is the most recognizable face on the long-running Criminal Minds. And in being so, his character, Special Agent Derek Morgan, has the coolest and most beloved catchphrase, Baby Girl. Criminal Minds is a dark show, if you weren't already aware. So his affectionate way of addressing his closest friend and co-worker, Penelope Garcia, helped to brighten up the dreariness a little bit. Baby Girl is like a little bit of sunshine on a cloudy day. Sherman Moore portrayed his character for 11 seasons and was considered a incredible agent. But sadly, even the guy with an amazing catchphrase needs to be moved on from eventually. He officially departed the show in 2016, barring the occasional guest appearances in later seasons. To stop by, baby girl, why did he decide to leave when he was one of the biggest draws for fans and viewers? In his words, it was just time to go. He made a weird metaphor for his acting career, claiming he thought about it like school. He compared his time on The Young and the Restless and Criminal Minds to college. Leaving Criminal Minds for the next thing is like getting his PhD, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, he said he was just ready to grow as an actor and as a man. He wanted to stop walking and take a real leap. And so he leapt from one hit cop show to another when he landed the lead role on CBS's SWAT. I don't know, man, kind of a parallel move, but hey, whatever floats your boat. Finishing up with, some people just don't love Los Angeles. Most shows don't get the blessing of 15 years in the limelight. Criminal Minds was one of the rare exceptions. 15 glorious years of catching murderers and kidnappers. Ah, the memories. As you have seen in this video, 15 years includes a good amount of turnover in the talent department. The cast when the show wrapped in 2019 looked differently than it initially launched in 2005. Gone were the days of Thomas Gibson, Mandy Patinkin, Sherman Moore, and more. But one original cast member got out of it as quick as she should. And not because the subject matter of the series was disturbing, but because she hated living in LA. Lola Glaudini helped launch the show and give it its vibe and energy that would be a staple for years to come. But it just wasn't her vibe. But why would she leave a show that was priming to be so successful and give her work for years to come? Let's discuss. The show portrays a group of FBI agents who hop in a slick private jet every episode to go solve crimes all over the United States. However, this is Hollywood. Almost the entirety of the show is shot in the Los Angeles area. Glaudini didn't dig that part of the job. She wasn't a fan of the West Coast. She called the East Coast home and missed the energy. After all, her first big role before Criminal Minds was on The Sopranos, a show that shot on the East Coast, which is also where she is from. Maybe she was just homesick? Ultimately, her decision to leave stemmed from this simple fact. She hated Los Angeles and wanted to go back to the East Coast. As you can see, even the biggest hit dramas on TV have a lot going on behind the scenes. It's not always light, camera action, and smiles and hugs. We can all be grateful that nothing behind the scenes was anything like what the show portrayed on the screen. Yikes. Well, that's it guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. We'll see you soon with more exciting videos. Take care.